So I already did a video about my National Geographic bag, uh, so I decided that since I retired my Low Pro bag when I did that video, I decided to use it for a secondary bag for holding specifically video gear. So I wanted to go over what I've got inside of it. This is the Low Pro 400AW. We're opening up the front pocket first. Inside the front pocket, the first thing you see are two extra 15 millimeter rails. This is for extending my cinema rig so that I can mount more stuff on it, which you'll see in a minute. Of course, I got an extra quick release plate in there with a 3 8 thread on it for mounting tripods and microphones and stuff. And again, uh, talking about microphones, we have a Nady shotgun microphone. I will have the link to that linked down in the description. And then inside the fold out pocket, we have a wired lavalier microphone. Uh, of course, I hold it off screen again because I'm an idiot, but it's there. And then last but not least in this pocket, we have a couple extra screws. Uh, these are feet for holding up my slider. In the right side pocket, we have an extra battery plate for my Canon 60D's battery grip because this is a video bag and that's one of the video cameras that we use. On the other side, we have the newer uh, CN160 light, a good light to always have on hand. Sometimes I use Sony NPF batteries. Uh, most of the time I do, but right now I had some double A's because the NPF was on charge. Opening up the top, uh, we're first greeted by a oh, big mess, but it's actually more organized than you think. We've got a couple accessories here for mounting onto the cinema rig. Uh, we have a 135 f2 lens. Uh, this is in Minolta MD mount, and then we have a two times teleconverter for the Minolta MD mount to go with that. Next up, we have the battery and charger for the G7. Uh, that is the cinema rig that this is built for. Uh, so of course I have the extra battery and charger there. We have a follow focus uh, that there's a mount for on the cinema rig, but it's not being used right now. This is the Feiyu uh, G4, the Feiyu Tech G4. Uh, I have a video on this. If you guys want to watch it, it'll be linked down in the description below. It's a gimbal for a GoPro. So there's that. This is a 50 millimeter Minolta MD lens. I actually don't think I'm going to be using this one because I don't think the aperture works. Uh, so I'll probably be retiring that lens very, very soon, but it's in there for now. And then we have a 75 to 300 Minolta lens. Uh, this one is a constant aperture, so it's a pretty nice lens to have around. Mostly too long for a lot of the stuff that I do, but I'm going to keep it around anyway because I most definitely will probably find it useful at some point. Uh, we have a bunch of audio equipment in here. So we've got a pair of purple headphones that I use for monitoring audio. They're just old skull candy headphones as well as a 3.5 millimeter extension cable. We've got a couple of small knickknacks stuffed in the corner there. Uh, no big deal. In these little baggies, I keep other audio extensions. And of course, it gets way blown out by the light. But we've got a larger extension cable here. I actually think there's two extension cables in there. But uh, these are used to extend cables for mics and stuff. Uh, since that's one of the things this bag is supposed to take care of is audio. We've got an HDMI extension cable for the monitor. Uh, then as well as another bag here that has more cables inside of it. These ones are uh, adapting cables. So we've got an XLR to quarter inch and then a quarter inch to eighth inch and then another little short white extension cable. So plenty of cables here, mostly to make sure we got all the bases covered when it comes to audio uh, so that we can adapt all the microphones and cables and stuff that we need in order to do our job. Last but not least, I keep the old Canon kit lens in here. Uh, it's a great little starter lens, nice and sharp, and it works well for a lot of quick applications. So I keep it in there just in case I need it because you never know when you might need something like that. So uh, that's about it for this guy video, guys. Hopefully it's not too crazy. Uh, hopefully you got something from it. If you did, please leave a like and a comment down below. And if you want to see more stuff like this, uh, please subscribe. We make new videos all the time. And if you have any suggestions on things I should do next, um, maybe things you want to see from me, uh, please let me know. And I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.